on Frontline, we investigate how muckrakers were more effective at furthering progressive reform than actual politicians of their time. We will do so by investigating three muckrakers, or trust busters, if you will. The three trust busters we will be looking at are Upton Sinclair, Jacob Reese, and Ida Tarbell. Our first trust buster is Ida Tarbell, who went after big oil. This shows how muckrakers were more effective in furthering the progressive movement. Ida Tarbell looked and looked for a way to take down big oil. She went through public records looking for ways that they exploited human labor. She found it. And eventually, her findings were used in a political campaign by Theodore Roosevelt to take down big oil, where he used the district attorney to go after them. Interesting stuff, right? Next up is Upton Sinclair, whose muckraking novels such as The Jungle brought into the public eye the disgusting exploits of the food industry and called for various legislative direction such as the Clean Food and Drug Act brought about by Theodore Roosevelt at the turn of the century. I got us McDonald's. Thanks, Dad. No, don't eat that food. Learn about how corporate America is ruining your food and not putting enough restrictions on how to make it because it's poisoning you. Who are you going to call? Trust, but hey, look, it's up to Sinclair. Yeah, here yeah. I am, up to Sinclair, yeah. <laughs> no! Whoa! You gotta know, you can't eat that. It's very unsafe. How here. come? <laughs> Read my book. It's called The Jungle. <laughs> Next up is Jacob Reese, who went around taking pictures of poor people throughout America in the hopes of showing everybody how bad it was for many people. This lit a fire underneath many people and led to many cities' legislative reforms in improving the life for the poor. I'm Jacob Reese, and this is my show, Taking Pictures of Homeless People. I'm trying to compile all these pictures together and then show them to the fat cats of corporate America, and I can show them how poor people are struggling. It's gonna be awesome. Look, there's one right there. I'm gonna take a picture of you. Quick. Wow, those came out really nice. Would you like, yeah. Would you like a copy? Ah, uh, sure, we can give you a copy. All right. Corporate America, take that. Hey, you got any spare change? <laughs> My name's Jacob Reese, and I've been hunting poor people for about 10 years now. Yeah, I'm a muckraker, not afraid to say it. My goal is to compile a book that's called How the Other Half Lives. And in this way, I can show corporate America what they've done. And we can bust those trusts, like trust busters, Bill Murray. Oh my God, there's a poor person. I'm Jacob Reese, I'm here to take a picture of you. Why? be wondering by now why our film quality is so terrible. <sighs> anyway, next up we have Jacob Reese as he demonstrates to the rich upper class Americans how terrible the living conditions are for the poor due to the exploits of the rich. My name's Jacob Reese. We're gonna get these bad cats. Look at that dog. Poor person could eat that dog. Look at this water. Poor person could drink that water. Look at these stairs. A poor person could eat those stairs. America, I'm here for you. 
I have been compiling a book with pictures of poor people for over ten years. Why would you do that? To show you what you've done. Look at it. Look at those pictures of poor people. This is what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just Take didn't that, mean corporate to. America. <laughs> yep. Trust busters. Ugh, and that concludes our report on muckraking. <clears throat> So the bottom line is this. The politicians may have been the ones to sign in the bills, but if it weren't for the muckrakers, the alarm... <clears throat> the alarm would have never been raised in the first place, and there would have been no demand to put the reforms in action. And that's why we conclude that the muckrakers were more effective at furthering progressive reform than... <clears throat> politicians. <clears throat>